let's jump into uh, some of your previous work, if you don't mind, Betsy Brandt. Certainly here on this program, I we whenever anybody you've had some of my friends on your show. I, I have had some of your friends, no doubt, on this yeah. show. Uh, in Brian Cranston, and obviously Vince Gilligan, the creator of Breaking Bad. Yeah. And when did Breaking Bad first come across your radar screen, Betsy? Uh, like when did I start watching it? No. Or to, uh, no um, nice. <laughs> uh, <laughs> right. Right. Is it over? Yeah. Right. Um, it, it's so funny. I met Dean Norris in the waiting room to go in audition for Vince Gilligan. Was he auditioning for Hank? You're... Yes. Okay. Yes. And we had no idea what this show was. I was like, is this a comedy? <laughs> we had a whole conversation about it. I said, because I'm going in there and reading it like it's funny because I think it's pretty funny. Mm -hmm. and, and he was like, oh, yeah, no, me too. Me too. <laughs> and so we both... It, but that's how our characters were, for, not for all of it, but a lot of it. Right. Um, yeah, and, we, and we had no idea what this script? was. you Is that what you were yeah. going into to yeah. audition? You're reading the pilot script. Yeah. Oh, it was, I, I said to my husband, I said, hands down, the best pilot I've ever read. I wonder if they'll actually make this. Couldn't <laughs> because believe it. the idea was just so, um, who's going to put money behind that? Sony and AMC. Did Thank you, God. Did you know that Brian Cranston had been cast when you were going into When Reed? I know he wasn't. Because that would have lent the idea to being a comedy as well, with him coming from Malcolm I, well, in the well, Middle. Clearly, the I wasn't the only one who thought there was right. some funny in it. Right. Um, I no, he wasn't cast yet, and then um, and then he was. I went and I, I did I go in two or three. Mm -hmm. I think three times. Okay. Ultimately. Right. Yeah. And then you got the gig. And then I got it, but I I. I needed it, not like I needed it to, tip, to pay my bills. I was already so attached to the project right. and invested in it because it was so good. And then once you can't sit, I mean, you know, you can't sit in a room with Vince Gilligan and mm -hmm. not fall in love with him. Like, and he's such a he's such a creative genius, but he's also just one of the best people you'll ever meet. So nice, such so sweet, and you can't believe that that. <laughs> the right. dark he's stuff really comes from dark. that human being. I know, being, you know? I know, and he's just the nicest guy. Right, and all the darkness. Cranston, that... too. I mean, right. he played this like, oh my God, I got chest pains during the awkward guacamole scene because I just was telling him over and over again to go kill himself <laughs> and meaning it every single time. When did you realize that this was hitting, though? When It, uh, took, it was it took after a bit... season three. Like, the first couple of seasons, it was, the show was great but mm -hmm. it it wasn't we were getting enough people that were watching it enough people to watch it that amc was willing to keep it on so i was thankful for that and i would have been happy doing that too but mm -hmm. it was great that we had the fans that we did right and then all of a sudden stuff like when, when it hit netflix or something like that yes or when, when netflix because really... then people caught up on it and right. exactly people caught up on it and binged it mm -hmm. and then went along the ride with us but there's still people that are starting to binge it now right exactly right and yeah you know just it, when i think i'm like oh like that's the zenith of like you know no one will recognize me from breaking bad anymore it's it's um yeah that doesn't well i mean it, always it, it'll people. always be that way uh what was the toughest scene for you to do oh my god um sorry spoiler alert i think it, when it's, it's too late um right i mean is there like uh, like on. i know um, when, uh, oh, it's heartbreaking. Um, when Skyler, oh God, well, you know what? There's some scenes I haven't even watched because it's too hard for me. Are you serious where you did it once and you just can't watch it back? Well, I'm not in, I'm not in, oh, I'm I not see. in. Um, oh yeah, but sorry, yes, what I was in. Uh, where, um, Skyler and Marie fight and I slap her, um, that was, one of the saddest days for me for my character because that I loved their relationship and was like that's done now that will never be the same yeah as, once I know that she was involved had anything to do that she and Walt had anything to do with Hank and the scene where Hank where it, it, it he, he realized that Walter White was Heisenberg and everything that goes on where he's basically you know on the toilet Learning, yeah. learning about this sort of thing. I was thing. so scared when I read that pilot and, and some of it had been redacted. And I said to Vince, I said, what's happening? Is he going to die a very sad Elvis Presley death on the can? 
Is that how? Is that what you're going to do? Because I want to know about that. If that's good, just so I can prepare myself. And he goes, No, what? But I, I, I like that. That's my Vince Gilligan. That's a, that's a good one. <laughs> Invitation. So uh, I guess this is a silly follow-up question, but I'll ask you anyway. You you receive redacted scripts? For yeah. Real? Yeah. Up up and uh, you know, in the beginning, because you get those pretty far ahead yes. before shooting, and so. You know, it, it, the show was, it, it, you know, so many people were into it. It just, um, we didn't want a chance having it get out there. Right. Having someone find it. You know, we did have someone who wasn't involved with the show come across a script. And, it, you know, it was, you know, it's, it, we didn't want it to, everyone puts a lot of work into it. We of didn't course. want that to happen. Right. And so everything was top secret, uh, yeah. obviously, you know, uh, on the set for something like that. So, because, uh, we, yeah, I we had Brian Cranston on the show, and he said the toughest scene he had to do was the one involving Kristen Ritter, you know, oh, when she, yeah. her character died, yeah. and, and Walt basically watched her and could have saved her him and right did not. A, I saw him right after that. Um, that was a tough scene for him. What is it? I mean. We, you, it's funny. We would do a class picture every year. Okay. Everybody would come and do a class picture, and, um, and he, uh, yeah, he, um, he was crying. Like he uh, just like, because you hold it together. Yes. While you're shooting, and then, you know, I. After he did that scene, you found him just. Well, he wasn't like in the corner alone. Someone was hugging him. He was crying, and, yeah. and he was like, just it was. He was that was tough. Yeah, that give him a second. Scene. Yeah. No doubt about it. Catch the Rich Eisen show every single day on the Roku channel, twelve to three Eastern, for free. 